All right, Trailblazers, pencils down. It's time to stop theory crafting. No more min-maxing relics, no more DPS spreadsheets, no more theorizing new double lesbo tempos. I said pencils down, it's time to stop. Firefly is omnipotent, but not only that, no, Firefly has turned Honkai Star Rail into a solved game. She has officially made theory crafting and Honkai Star Rail obsolete. Similar to how the sponsor for today's video, Lootbar.gg, made the Oneric Pout Shop obsolete, Firefly is coming and we all know she's going to be omnipotent, therefore we need to start farming Stellar Jades now. So do we go to the Oneric Pout Shop? No, unless you're missing a chromosome, you do. Instead, use my link in the description to go to Loot Bar's Honkai Star Rail category. Put in your UID and server here and take advantage of amazing prices. By leveraging international payment systems, Loot Bar is able to find you the best price for where you live. And all this recharging happens through official Hoyoverse channels. Let's farm 3,280 Stellar Jades. You will get an order process form like this in a couple minutes, so let's check in game now, and there we have it. Anyways, Click the link in my description if you also want to improve your Stellar Jade farming in a major way. Now, let's just get this out of the way. Yes, Firefly is a must-pull trailblazer. She is not an option, but an absolute necessity for your account. On my tier list, I place Firefly up there in the realm of omnipotency alongside Silver Wolf and Sparkle. There is a reason I've been clickbaiting Wuthering Waves videos with talky AI sponsors for the past two weeks. I have been farming for as many Stellar Jades as possible to blow everything on the Firefly banner. The thing is, not only will Firefly be omnipotent, but she she will be essentially the last trailblazer you'll ever need to get, but I'll dive into that later. First, let's quickly go over why Firefly is so powerful. As I've discussed extensively in my Sparkle analysis, at a high level, Hoyoverse has a gay feminist racist agenda, and Firefly ticks all those boxes. Firefly is a white female who immediately power creeps the previous banner's male counterpart in a major way, and no one can deny she's a blatant lesbian either. As for being a racist, she isn't a blatant racist like Sparkle, but is still an implied racist. Similar to how Hoyoverse purposely included a bridge in Silver Wolf's trailer. Firefly's trailer also had some PewDiePie-esque imagery suggesting her implied racism. Now, as for her in-game kit, Firefly can basically always deplete the break shield and even apply fire weakness, making her usable against any enemy in the game. This is what makes her truly omnipotent. Before in Honkai Star Rail, we only had one omnipotent team that could defeat any enemy in the game. The Mono Quantum, Goblin Short Stack, Quartet, Lesbiana. This team is QQ, Fu Xuan, Silver Wolf, and Sparkle, and it will easily beat anything in the game due to the omnipotent Silver Wolf being able to apply Quantum Weakness, Sparkle and QQ being a next level combination, and Fu Xuan ensuring you cannot die. This is the best team in all of Honkai Star Rail because it can beat anything on autoplay. However, in a lot of game modes you need two teams, and therefore the second team you would have to have Ruan Mei plus a DPS of the correct element. So really the only theory crafting in this video game was which elemental DPS to pair with Ruan Mei for the second team, as the first team should always be the quartet lesbian. However, now with the release of Firefly, we have everything needed to just not play the game again. We have a second omnipotent team, which is the Autistic Ballistic. The team is Ruan Mei, Firefly, Stella, and Gallagher. Whereas the quartet Lesbianette gathers all the short stack goblins, this team gathers the most neurodivergent trailblazers. Stella is clearly autistic because she talks to trash cans and also, well, she represents you, the player. Ruan Mei I've covered extensively in another video to be a high functioning autist that puts people's lives at risk with no care. And whereas Ruan Mei is a high functioning autist, Firefly is a low functioning one. Like, she literally travels to another planet to fight insects. How is that not low-level autism? It kind of reminds me of a time when me and my friends would pretend to be rescue heroes and one day we decided to save the neighborhood by attacking a bush where like a bunch of these green wasps live. Anyways, after whacking the bush with our hockey sticks for like a minute, the bees did attack us back and completely obliterated us in a major way as two of us actually wound up in the hospital. And honestly, I still have PTSD from that event and when I think 
think back on it, I can vividly recall the bees looking angry. But like at the end of the day, our low-level autistic thinking was the cause of our demise. We should have never whacked at bees with hockey sticks, it was just a bad idea. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that while it's sad what happened with Firefly and her friends, and any reaction streamer making light of the situation is unacceptable, it didn't really have to be this way. There was no need for Firefly and her friends to go to that insect planet. They should have never done it, it shouldn't have happened, it was just a bad idea. Like leave the alien bugs alone, stay home, stay safe. Anyways, my point on all this is that Firefly is autistic. As for Gallagher, well he is an autistic, but in the near future he will be replaced by an autistic white female sustained trailblazer. So I suppose Honkai Star Rail isn't a completely solved game as of yet, but we will just need one more trailblazer for that to be the case. Anyways, similar to the quartet lesbian net, this team will be able to easily autoplay against any enemy types. So there's really no need to read abilities in this game anymore like pack it up Rihu, you're not proving anything to anybody by showing you know what trailblazer skills do anymore. It's time to just stop with theory crafting in this game as there's quite honestly just no point. From now on, just focus on investing on the two most omnipotent teams in the game and I guess be ready for the autistic white female sustain that will be replacing Gallagher.